Judge, uh, should we, from what you know right now, right. should we have been picking up some signs on this guy, and should he be having a gun to get in there? Well, we know a couple things. We know that the government does not adequately vet its vendors. Whatever, whatever you think of the, of the constitutional wisdom of what Edward Snowden did, the government didn't know he was there. The government obviously didn't know this guy was there. The government didn't know that this guy carried a gun, and the government didn't care that this guy carried a gun. <clears throat> the government doesn't adequately communicate between security officials at Fort Hood or security officials at the Washington Navy Yard and people letting others onto the property. That's issue number one. Issue number two is Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, is the most anti-gun city in the country. A naval officer carrying a gun at the, at the Washington Naval Yard could not carry it home in his car to get home lest he be stopped and be arrested. So we have a local problem, Washington, D.C., and candidly, we have a problem with the military. If you cannot trust military officers to carry weapons on a military base after Fort Hood and after, and after this, then people don't believe in the Second Amendment at all. So what's the future here? I mean, what are we looking at in terms of it's, uh, gun, gun control laws is obviously going to be the, the, the debate surface. I happen again. to believe that where there are more guns, there's less crime. And I do believe that if naval officers had been armed yesterday, a lot fewer people would have been killed. And I also believe that crackpots like this guy, knowing that every other person he could confront would be armed, would think twice yep. or three times or a hundred times before they would do this. Because essentially, the Navy Yard is a gun-free zone. Essentially, and so it is. everybody in there yesterday was a sitting duck, except the uh, security officers who had guns. And it sounds like he may have shot at least one to get the gun. You know, the security officers, a couple of them, I was, I was watching uh, with uh, Peter Ducey, uh, were heroic in what they did. But there's not enough of them, and yep. they can't be everywhere all the time, just like here in New York City. Time the police magazine, can't be everywhere. Time magazine talked about how they cut back security at that naval base, and that might be the focus of a scandal shortly. If I could say Budget. anything to Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel or the Chief of Naval Operations, I would ask, why is it that your own people can't carry weapons to protect their colleagues and federal property when they're on federal installations? That's an excellent question. I understand a lot of the people who were on that particular campus, if you will, uh, were civilian contractors. So they weren't even military. Right, well, right. like this guy. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. What about 3,000 total. What about video games? Judge, what do you, what's your theory on that? He was Should we be policing them? Wow. Uh, this, this I did not know about his, about his personal background. Look, when the government gives a vendor a gun or when the government brings a vendor into government property, it needs to know about the individual. So it obviously needs to have a, a better way of finding things ab about people. I'm not one who believes that video games cause murder, but obviously there's a bunch of warning signs that they could have found about this guy, and, and they didn't. And I will say this, is that uh, I played Space Invaders, so should somebody come from another galaxy, mm. I am ready to defend our planet. I feel safe. All yeah. right. Do you still play? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped, uh, thankfully. Uh, Elizabeth, man, Elizabeth, just welcome here. Me. Thank now, you. Now, when guys. I started at Fox, they did not build a new studio for me. <laughs> 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 she demanded it. Not only did they build a new studio, <laughs> they built a piece of furniture. Yes. A brand new is, curvy couch. This is fabulous. I saw Kill Me Sleeping here about 3.30 this morning. <laughs> right. On an angle. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I was spooning myself. That uh, explains, right on the curve. That explains the dent. <laughs> All right, Judge. Thank Sore you. Sore from much. yesterday. Pleasure, guys.